Hi, it's me, Just Rain here. Are you a weeb? Of course you are. You want to generate images like these? Here's proof I'm legit. I'll teach you how in 5 minutes. First, you need the following, Python, Git, and VS Code. And preferably a nice GPU. Now we got most of the peasants out of the way, it's time for the fun part. Go search up Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111. You're gonna read the instructions and you're gonna install it. No, this is not a video about how to follow instructions. If you need help, wow, it's almost like there's all-knowing AI to help you out. Or if you're really advanced, you can also check out these three websites. If you're ever feeling stuck, remember the only other alternative is like 10 years of art school. Otherwise, you just end up drawing like me. Okay, baby, let's go. Now for the fun part. All right, you're gonna head over to Civit AI and you're gonna browse the models. Choose one that you like artistically and just download it. If you don't know which ones to pick, here are the ones I use. For the rest of this video, I'll be using the first one. You're gonna click this download button and you're gonna place the file you just downloaded in this folder. Great, now that you launched the web UI, you're gonna have something like this. Confusing, isn't it? Okay, you're gonna ignore all of that and you're just gonna type anime girl with black hair in the first box you see and send that. You should get this image. Just kidding, this was my prompt. Oh, I forgot this slide was here. Here's what you actually kind of get. Wow, it's almost like you're not instantly good at something you try for the first time. So how do we go from this to this? Well, it's actually very simple. You just copy. If you head back over to the Civit AI and click into an image, you'll see exactly how they generated their image. Basically, there's a lot of settings that you can configure here, but just try to copy exactly what they did. If you're stuck at any point, again, ChatGPT, Google, or Stack Overflow may help you. And you should get a pretty good image. Great, now that we generated our first image, it's time for some optional stuff. First of all, textual embeddings. They fix stuff for you. If you ever have bad hands or just bad images in general, you can check out an easy negative and bad hands. Here's a comparison of what they do. Loras. To put it simply, they keep character, art style, and concepts generally the same. For example, if you want to generate art like Genshin stickers, you can do that. Or like a tarot card style. You can even keep consistent characters with them. Or keeping concepts such as expressions. Control Net. They help with posing. To generate poses, I recommend PoseMyArt.com. Or you can just use image references. Here's some examples of what Control Net does. Finally, VAEs. It's like color grading. Here are some examples. However, most image generation models have one built in, so it's chill if you don't use one. Great! Happy image generating! You should check me out. I'm on that arc right now. Okay, bye.